Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 things you should know about Muhammad ibn Zakaria Razi. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Abu Bakr Muhammad E. Zakaria Y. Razi, also known by his Latinized name Razis, or Rasis, 854-925 CE, was a Persian polymath, physician, alchemist, philosopher, and important figure in the history of medicine. He also wrote on logic, astronomy and grammar. A comprehensive thinker, Razi made fundamental and enduring contributions to various fields, which he recorded in over 200 manuscripts, and is particularly remembered for numerous advances, in medicine through his observations and discoveries. Here are some facts about him. Number 10. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, 1911, he was among the first to use humoral theory to distinguish one contagious disease from another, and wrote a pioneering book about smallpox and measles providing clinical characterization of the diseases. Through translation, his medical works and ideas became known among medieval European practitioners and profoundly influenced medical education in the Latin West. Some volumes of his work Mansuri, namely, On Surgery, and A General Book on Therapy became part of the medical curriculum in Western universities. Edward Granville Brown considers him as probably the greatest and most original of all the Middle Eastern physicians, and one of the most prolific as an author. Additionally, he has been described as the father of pediatrics and a pioneer of obstetrics and ophthalmology. For example, he was the first to recognize the reaction of the eye's pupil to light. Number 9. Psychology and Psychotherapy. Razi was one of the world's first great medical experts. He is considered the father of psychology and psychotherapy. Number 8. Meningitis and Pharmacy. Razi compared the outcome of patients with meningitis treated, with bloodletting with the outcome of those treated without it to see if bloodletting could help. Razi contributed in many ways to the early practice of pharmacy by compiling texts, in which he introduces the use of mercurial ointments, and his development of apparatus such as mortars, flasks, spatulas, and files, which were used in pharmacies until the early 20th century. Number 7. Ethics of Medicine On a professional level, Razi introduced many practical, progressive, medical and psychological ideas. He attacked charlatans and fake doctors who roamed the cities and countryside selling their nostrums and cures. At the same time, he warned that even highly educated doctors did not have the answers to all medical problems and could not cure all sicknesses or heal every disease, which was humanly speaking impossible. To become more useful in their services and truer to their calling, Razi advised practitioners to keep up with advanced knowledge by continually studying medical books and exposing themselves to new information. He made a distinction between curable and incurable diseases. Pertaining to the latter, he commented that in the case of advanced cases of cancer and leprosy the physician should not be blamed when he could not cure them. To add a humorous note, Razi felt great pity for physicians who took care for the well-being of princes, nobility, and women, because they did not obey the doctor's orders to restrict their diet or get medical treatment, thus making it most difficult being their physician. He also wrote the following on medical ethics, the doctor's aim is to do good, even to our enemies, so much more to our friends, and my profession forbids us to do harm to our kindred, as it is instituted for the benefit and welfare of the human race, and God imposed on physicians the oath not to compose mortiferous remedies. Number 6. Views about alchemy Razi's interest in alchemy, and his strong belief in the possibility of transmutation of lesser metals to silver, and gold was attested half a century, after his death by Ibn in Nadim's book, The Philosopher's Stone Lapis Philosophorum in Latin. Nadim attributed a series of 12 books to Razi, plus an additional 7, including his refutation to Al-Kindi's denial of the validity of alchemy. Al-Kindi, 801-873 CE, had been appointed by the Abbasid Caliph Marmam founder of Baghdad, to the House of Wisdom, in that city, he was a philosopher and an opponent of alchemy. Razi's two best-known alchemical texts, which largely superseded his earlier ones, Azra, The Secrets, and Cyril Azra, The Secret of Secrets, which incorporates much of the previous work. Apparently Razi's contemporaries believed that he had obtained the secret of turning iron and copper into gold. Biographer Khosro Motes reports in Muhammad Zakaria Razi that a certain General Seemuer confronted Razi in public and asked whether that was the underlying reason for his willingness to treat patients without a fee. It appeared to those present that Razi was reluctant to answer. He looked sideways at the general and replied, I understand alchemy, and I have been working on the characteristic properties of metals for an extended time. 
however, it still has not turned out to be evident to me, how one can transmute gold from copper. Despite the research from the ancient scientists done over the past centuries, there has been no answer. I am in very much doubt if it is possible. Number 5. The philosophical writings of Razi were neglected for centuries, and renewed appreciation of their importance did not occur until the 20th century. Although he claimed to be a follower of Plato, his views differed significantly from those of later Arabic interpreters of Plato, such as Farabi, Avicenna, Ibn Sina, and Averroes, Ibn Rushd. He was probably acquainted with Arabic translations of the Greek atomist philosopher Democritus, and pursued a similar tendency in his own atomic theory of the composition of matter. Among his other works, The Spiritual Physic of Raises is a popular ethical treatise, and a major alchemical study. Number 4. Chemistry and Pharmacology. Al-Razi took a serious interest in chemistry and in the preparation of medicines, and is sometimes referred to as the father of modern pharmacology. He introduced the use of mercurial ointments and developed apparatus, such as mortars, flasks, spatulas, and files, which were used in pharmacies until the early 20th century. He also produced alcohol by fermentation of sweet substances, and used it in the formulation of medicines. Razi challenged Aristotle's theory of the four elements, fire, water, earth, and air, saying that his own experiments suggested other qualities of matter, such as salinity, oiliness, and sulfurousness, or inflammability, which were not readily explained by the traditional division of elements into those four categories. He dismissed the idea of potions and reliance on magic symbols, although he did not reject the idea that miracles exist in the sense of unexplained phenomena in nature. In exploring causality, he relied predominantly on the Neoplatonic concept of dominant forms, or essences, rather than on intellect or a mechanistic view of the cosmos. He is known to have perfected methods of distillation and extraction, which contributed to his studies of sulfuric acid, by dry distillation of vitriol, al zajit and alcohol. These studies paved the way for other chemists in the world. Number 3. Writings. Razi is said to have written 184 books, but only a few survive. He studied the writings of ancient Greek physicians, translated them into Arabic, corrected their mistakes, and expanded them with medical knowledge unavailable to the Greeks. His Kitab Mansuri includes detailed descriptions of human anatomy, and of diseases and their cures. This book also links injuries of the spine and brain to the paralysis of various parts of the body. After it was translated into Latin as Liber Medicinalis ad Almansorum in the 12th century, it became an extremely influential medical text in European universities. Another important work by Razi, which was translated at about the same time, is Harwi, translated into Latin as Continent, a 20-volume encyclopedia of medical knowledge that circulated in several Latin versions, because of its popularity in European medical circles. His Kitab Abella wa Haspa, Treatise on Smallpox and Measles, also became well known in Europe after it was translated into Latin as De Pestilentia. Number 2. Students of Razi The lectures of Razi attracted many students. As Ibn al-Nadim relates in Firist, Razi was considered a sheikh, an honorary title given to one entitled to teach and surrounded by several circles of students. When someone raised a question, it was passed on to students of the first circle, if they did not know the answer, it was passed on to those of the second circle, and so on. When all students would fail to answer, Razi himself would consider the query. Razi was a generous person by nature, with a considerate attitude towards his patients. He was charitable to the poor, treated them without payment in any form, and wrote for them a treatise Risala Tabieb Gayeb, or who has no physician to attend him, with medical advice. One former pupil from Tabaristan came to look after him, but as Biruni wrote, Razi rewarded him for his intentions and sent him back home, proclaiming that his final days were approaching. According to Biruni, Razi died in Ray in 925 60 years of age. Biruni, who considered Razi as his mentor, among the first penned a short biography of Razi including a bibliography of his numerous works. Ibn al-Nadim recorded an account by Razi of a Chinese, student who copied down all of Galen's works in Chinese as Razi read him to him out loud, after the student learned fluent Farsi in five months and attended Razi's lectures. Number 1. Last days of Razi He spent the last years of his life in his native ray suffering from glaucoma. His eye affliction started with cataracts and ended in total blindness. The cause of his blindness is uncertain. One account mentioned by Ibn Juljal attributed the cause to a blow to his head by his patron, Mansur Ibn Isaac, for failing to provide proof for his alchemy theories, while Abulfaraj and Kasari claimed that the cause was a diet of beans only. 
Allegedly, he was approached by a physician offering an ointment to cure his blindness. Razi then asked him how many layers does the eye contain, and when he was unable to receive an answer, he declined the treatment stating, my eyes will not be, treated by one who does not know the basics of its anatomy. After his death, his fame spread beyond the Middle East to medieval Europe, and lived on. In an undated catalogue of the library at Peterborough Abbey, most likely from the 14th century, Razi is listed as a part author of 10 books on medicine. What do you think about this video? Which of the following top 10 things about Muhammad ibn Zakaria Razi shocked you the most? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.